Hey everybody, uh, today is uh, an unlikely video, I actually didn't think this one was going to be on the series, but apparently uh, the mini boss for the Castle Oblivion level, that's what it's called, is Pete, again, and really nothing special, we're just going to have to fight Pete again, the room is smaller, it's square, it has stairs, and on top of that, he does the thing where he summons blocks to break up his path, make uh, his ball attack way more hard to deal with. This one was not a serious threat, unlike the two other final level bosses. He is really nothing to sneak into I mean, He is comparatively trash, his attacks are wonky as hell, and if he doesn't summon his goddamn blocks, like he just did, then he's really nothing, nothing to even worry about. This is just gonna be a little bit of a, a, a combat sampler before we get to the real deal of dealing with the Castle Oblivion final boss, because it's really, it's not the final boss of this game, it's the extra boss, and because this is Square Enix, the extra boss is gonna suck ass, and you, you can pretty much guarantee that at this point. I mean, considering that the Sora Heartless was the final boss of the game, the, the main scenario and how that went, it is not even a comparison to what... It, basically what I mean is that this thing is a short time sink. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not even going to bring in any other additional topics because this level is only four minutes long. We're almost done. And there's not even a lot of cutscenes around that to talk about how shitty the story is. Frankly, the entire reason that this level exists in the first place is really stupid. Because this really should have been a scenario unto itself. It shouldn't have been an extension of the main game. Because this extra scenario happens immediately after the main plot has been finished. Oh, on top of that, Pete also randomly teleports. See, Pete's whole strategy is just to annoy the player constantly. He's not supposed to be effective, but he can defeat you because his attacks, his wonky ass attacks have, like you saw there, they have ridiculous health damage. And I, even this far in the game, I still have not figured out how to create Kira or Kiraga. The game probably doesn't tell you how to create these incredibly necessary spells. So I'm still trying to do this off the back of two cures, which is creating a lot of my difficulty problems. I'm sure if I had Kuraga, it would have helped a little bit. It would have been nice. We're almost done with Pete, and then we can move on. We probably have a, a cutscene to preempt the final boss before then, which is why there's a, another minute left in the video, and he, <laughs> Pete's almost basically dead anyway. Uh, these blocks, they are the frickin' worst. Pete's whole attack range is really stupid. And just stupidly high damaging because they couldn't make him challenging, so they just put all the numbers in his frickin' favor. I don't know why it took a whole 30 seconds for Pete to actually die. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Pete absolutely destroyed you. And... Really? What is your actual plan? I mean, I know who the final boss is, but these two people have nothing to do with who it actually is. I'm just really confused. And maybe they're talking about that trap platforming section that happens immediately after this, I don't know. But anyway, that's our second battle with Pete. And wasn't it a fun time for everyone involved?